ஏக சூடாமணி ஃபோர் ஹண்ட்ரட் அண்ட் சிக்ஸ்டி சிக்ஸ் வேர்ஸ் பிரத்யேக ரசம் பூர்ணம் அனந்தம் சர்வத்தோ முகம் ஏகமேவ அத்வயம் பிரம்ம நேக நானாஸ்தி கிஞ்சன தெர் இஸ் ஒன்லி ஒன் பிரம்மன் தெர் இஸ் நோ டுவாலிட்டி அண்ட் தெர் இஸ் நோ டைவர்சிட்டி ஹியர் அண்ட் தேட் பிரம்மன் இஸ் அத்வயம் ஒன் விதவுட் எ செகண்ட் and it is pratyag ekarasam it is within every being within everything in this table also table also is brahman there is only brahman nothing else is there we wrongly understand it to be so many things then it is ekarasam homogeneous then it is purnam infinite anantam endless and sarvato mukham ஆல் பர்வேடிங் சர்வத பாணி பாதம் தத் சர்வத அக்ஷி சிரோ முகம் ஹவ் யூ ஹர்ட் திஸ் ஸோ எவ்ரிவேர் இட்ஸ் பாணி ஹேண்ட்ஸ் ஆர் தேர் எவ்ரிவேர் இட்ஸ் ஃபீட்ஸ் ஆர் ஃபீட் ஆர் தேர் அண்ட் சர்வத அக்ஷி மீன்ஸ் எவ்ரிவேர் இட்ஸ் ஐஸ் ஆர் சென்ஸ் ஆர்கன்ஸ் ஆர் தேர் ஷிர இட்ஸ் ஹெட் இஸ் தேர் அண்ட் முகம் இட்ஸ் மவுத் இஸ் தேர் etc omnipresent omnipresent because only it is present you are all absent aheyam anupadeyam anadeyam anashrayam ekameva dvayam brahma nehana nasti kinchan so there is only one brahman without a second there is no diversity any kind of diversity aheyam so it is not heyam it cannot be ignored or shunned anupadeyam and it cannot be also taken up or accepted it is not something which can can be ignored it can it is not something which can be noticed why because whatever we ignore or notice we do it through our sense organs or mind and this is beyond sense organs and mind and anadeyam it it, it, it cannot be accepted and it is anashrayam it is without any support by because it doesn't need any support it is the support of everything and it is its own support it is its own support it stays without any support so nirgunam nishkalam sukshmam nirvikalpam niranjanam ekameva advayam brahma neha nanasti kinchana it is one brahman without a second without any diversity or duality nirgunam it is without any guna attributes nishkalam without any parts sukshmam subtle nirvikalpam and it is absolute without any other and niranjanam it is without any taint without any spot there are no spots there are no mistakes anirupya anirupya swarupam yat மனோவாச்சாம் அகோச்சரம் ஏகமேவாத்வயம் பிரம்ம நேகநானாஸ்தி கிஞ்சன திஸ் ஒன் பிரம்மன் விதவுட் அ செகண்ட் வெர் தெர் இஸ் நோ டுவாலிட்டி ஆர் டைவர்சிட்டி ஹவு இஸ் இட் இட் இஸ் அனிரூப்பிய இட் இஸ் சம்திங் விச் யூ கேனாட் ஸ்வரூபம் இட்ஸ் நேச்சர் இஸ் அனிரூப்பிய இட் யூ கேனாட் நிரூபணா கேனாட் பி டன் தட் மீன்ஸ் யூ கேனாட் காம்ப்ரிஹெண்ட் இட் why because we comprehend everything using our mind and sense organs and this is beyond that that is what is told yat mana mano vacha magocharam which is agocharam beyond mind and speech you cannot understand it through mind you cannot talk about it sat samriddham swata siddham shuddham buddham anidrisham ekameva dvayam brahma neha nanasti kinchana so this is only one brahman without a second where there is no duality or diversity how is it sat samriddham it is reality it is reality the only one reality samriddha means opulence or full of affluence but here we are not talking about such kind of an affluence here we are talking about there being an existence and that is what it is swata siddham it is effulgent samriddham 
and it is swata siddham it is self existent you don't need something else to prove or establish its existence it is self existent pure shuddham it is pure buddham it is intelligent or it is the essence of intelligence and anidrsham means it is unparalleled it is unlike anything there is no you cannot say that oh it is like this it is sweet like rasgulla like that you cannot say because there is nothing with which you can compare it why because it is beyond all sense organs and beyond all sense perception beyond mind speech etc now why is that shankaracharya continuously talks about this brahman so much to say that brahman cannot be realized using our sense organs or mind so you have to go beyond that to realize this nirasta raga vinirasta bhogaha so how to do now it is being told nirasta raga vinirasta bhogaha shantaha sudanta yatayo mahantah vignaya tatvam param etadante praptaha param nirvrutim atma yogat so people who are yataya sanyasins that means one who has given up other things sanyasin doesn't mean that you become some monk and then you will get god realization that means samyak nyasa completely giving up things attachment towards sense objects sense organs to this world for for what why should you give up attachment for the purpose of realizing your true nature if you do that what kind of people are there mahantah mahatmas high soul high thinking simple living now it is simple thinking high living you want the best mobile phone you want the best house you want the best vehicle everything you want the best but what do you think you think all day you think that i will do uh, i will enjoy the body that's what you think even if your age is 70 even if your age is 80 what is your age 80 ha even now you think that you think that your body is everything and you have to enjoy some but some people think more some people think less but the difference is only in the degree not in the kind so not like that a person who is mahantah that means whose mind is occupied at a different level of thought a, a person who is always thinking high thoughts not degrading demeaning thoughts but high thoughts not thoughts which limit oneself to this body and mind but thoughts which ennoble ennoble a person elevate a person that kind of person who has given up everything and who is nirasta raga raga means attachment one who has nirasta given up attachment vinirasta bhoga and discarded all bhoga sense enjoyments discarded all sense enjoyments and shantaha who is serene quiet does not mean that does not talk means that person has controlled one's mind shantaha so have you controlled your mind completely partly that is because of your old age when somebody becomes old your mind automatically becomes because of our physiological um, problems metabolism etc everything slows down so controlling mind is never part it is always complete control of mind anyway shantaha sudhanta so shanta means a person who has controlled the mind sudhanta a person who is completely restrained perfectly restrained restrained of what restraint of the senses restraint of the senses and vignaya tatvam knowing the realizing the supreme truth without any doubt realizing the supreme truth without any doubt param etad ante and at the end 
parametat means they attain the supreme bliss praptaha param they attain the supreme bliss nirvrtim atma yoga how atma yoga through understanding their self through understanding their true nature they attain nirvrtim they attain that liberation what is liberation then they will not again come to this world not take birth again so such people so you see here nirastaraga vinirastha bhoga bhoga so first thing has to be done is give up attachment give up sense enjoyment then shanta control the mind sudanta control the sense organs senses that we have to do bhavan api idam paratatva atmanah swarupa ananda ganam vicharya vidhuya moham swamanah prakalpitam mukta kritartho bhavatu prabuddhah so here the guru is telling all these things to the disciple so the guru is telling to the disciple bhavan bhavan is used with a sense of respect so bhavan you also api bhavan api you also vicharya think analyze discriminate hmm? time is going away okay shri ram krishna says that my time is going away when will you give me realization what do we say we say time is going away when will i get money i wanted to go to that place when will i do that i wanted to eat this when will i do that i wanted to wear this dress when will i do that so we are all fools so bad we are so so stupid that we don't understand that time is going away hmm what is the bengali song din guni guni barasu japinu that is a song like that so i count my days and i also count my years time is running away but i have not realized the truth so vicharya <coughs> is the guru is telling the disciple think discriminate discern what paratattvam atmanah you analyze this paratattvam supreme truth and atmanah swarupam also the real nature of yourself who are you are you the body are you the mind are you prana what are you realize analyze ananda ganam and also you are the embodiment you are the undiluted bliss you are the undiluted bliss so you think about that moham vidhuya and shake off this delusion moham moham give up the delusion my son my wife my husband my children my house what stupid my 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 ha huh? you're going to die if not today after 50 years if not after 50 years maybe 80 years you will die that is certain nobody is going to live forever so what my 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 shake off this delusion and even if you don't die one small tremor of 7.5 richter scale is sufficient to remove all your mais moham vidhuya swamana prakalpitam and this has been created by your mind this has been imagined by your mind what is your mind we are sitting in this hall one small 8 8 is not 7.5 is enough richter scale you will all be in jungle one small touch like that everybody will go in jungle nobody will be alive so that is the thing everyone will be in forest if you don't die otherwise leopards will come and eat you so yeah leopards are there don't think i am just making them fun or something leopards are there okay they continuously come and eat so be free mukta hai be free kritartho bhavatu and be fulfilled kritartho attain the consummation the ultimate goal of your life that is what the guru says how to do that says samadhina sadhu vinishchila atmana pashyatma tattvam sphuta bodha chakshusha nissamshayam samyag avekshita 
चेत श्रुत है पदार्थो न पुनर्विकल्प्यते समाधि न थ्रू समाधि मीन्स निर्विकल्प समाधि थॉटलेस स्टेट मोस्ट ऑफ अस ऑलमोस्ट ऑल ऑफ अस वर्क थॉटलेसली बट नॉट दैट थॉट वेर देर बी नो थॉट इन योर माइंड दैट स्टेट साधु विनिश्चल आत्मना इन विच आत्मन हियर मीन्स माइंड हैज बिकम विनिश्चल मीन्स हैज बिकम स्टिल काम बिकॉज देर इज नो थॉट सो दिस पर्सन कैन पश्य पश्य सी वॉट आत्म तत्व आत्म तत्व कैन सी स्वामी जी से ऋषि हु इज ऋषि सीयर्स ऑफ ट्रूथ ऋषि is a person who has seen truth and how sphuta bodha chakshusha with the eye of bodha chakshusha eye but not this eyes not these eyes but what i clear bodha sphuta means clear bodha means realization shri ramakrishna was asked this question by narendra datta have you seen god yes but i see him more clearly than i see you that is the answer i see him more clearly than i see you that means what i see you through my eyes if i have a cataract or i have some problem i have to put spectacles etc so this vision para aksha anubhuti paroksha anubhuti this is dependent on so many external factors external eyes then if your eyes are working and if your brain optic center is not working optic nerve is not working your eye can be donated to somebody else that person will see you will not see because your mechanism is not working so paro and even if you see everything your mind is not there if your mind is wandering nothing will be registered so till today we are not able to understand how that works the neurology of that is not very clear up to optic center in brain neurologists understand but why is it that a person is sitting in a class hearing everything everything is being processed mind is not there and that person doesn't remember what happens very difficult so people are doing research on that let them do but the point is this realization what we see god is clear realization it is clearer than what we see other things nissamshayam so first thing is it is clearer than the regular perception and nissamshayam doubtless without any doubt and what is the doubt doubtless thing samyak and perfectly not only doubtless completely and perfectly avekshitah this is understood this is understood avekshitah means it is seen seen in what not through the senses but in samadhi in samadhi when the mind becomes thoughtless just like in a pool of water when the water gets settled the dust gets settles the water becomes clear similarly when the mind becomes thoughtless when there is no thought in the mind mind becomes like a mirror and it shows your true nature now we go to a mirror and then we see there is so much of dust and maybe that solution which you put has gone away the mirror has become old so they will see dots then it has to be put new solution has to be put what silver nitrate that solution has to be put and then your mirror will be there and different types of mirrors show different type of thing uh, the rear view mirror shows there it will be written objects may be closer than what you see because the mirror is like that then you go to these uh, museums or uh, these kind of places then you suddenly become big uh, small etc but if a regular mirror is there you can see your reflection more or less correctly and that you can see only if the mirror is clean only if the mirror is working properly so our problem is our mind is a mirror but it is not working properly it is not at all working properly so we have to work to clear the mirror by removing all the impurities that is desire and if there is no desire there will be no tha- thought and if there is no thought we will have a clear reflection <clears throat> so shri ramakrishna says that the pure mind is guru pure mind is the guru it will show you your true reality true self 
सो अवेक्षित चेत इफ वन पर्सन कैन अंडरस्टैंड दैट श्रुत पदार्थ न पुनर्विकल्पते विकल्पते देन देर विल बी नो डाउट इन द मीनिंग ऑफ श्रुति स्टेटमेंट्स इन द मीनिंग ऑफ वट हैज बीन टोल्ड इन द वेदास विच यू हैव हर्ड फ्रॉम द माउथ ऑफ योर गुरु गुरु सेस तत्व मसी यू आर दैट देर विल बी नो डाउट वेदर आई एम द बॉडी आई एम द माइंड एक्सेट्रा नो डाउट विल बी देर इफ योर माइंड इज प्योर If there is no thoughts in your mind, swasya avidya bandha sambandha mokshat satya jnana nanda rupa atma labdhau shastram yukti deshi ka yukti hi pramanam cha anta siddha swa anubhuti pramanam swasya avidya bandha sambandha mokshat. So once avidya bandha bondage. because of avidya or ignorance one soul sambandha so our connection with the bondage which is caused by avidya or ignorance swasya sambandha with what avidya bandha we are connected with the bondage of avidya moksha so through breaking that bondage liberation moksha liberation means breaking this bondage of ignorance and our connection with the bondage of ignorance satya jnana ananda rupa atma labdhau realizing atman our true nature which is satya jnana ananda rupa which is absolute existence absolute knowledge and absolute bliss shastram yukti deshiko ukti hi how will we realize through scriptures shastram yukti hi through reasoning through analysis and deshika ukti hi from the teachings of our guru deshika they are all pramanam these are the proofs how do you know that you are not the body because so many people have told across religions people have told that body is not ultimate reality so you should know cha anta siddha and also one has to realize it oneself oneself one has to realize it swanubhuti hi pramanam and also one's experience realizing and also one's concentration of the mind is also the pramana proof that ultimate reality is atman bandho mokshascha triptischa chinta arogya kshudadaya स्वेन वेद्या यज्ञान परेशा आनुमानिक बंध बॉन्डेज मोक्ष लिबरेशन तृप्ति सैटिस्फैक्शन चिंता एंगजाइटी एंड आरोग्य मींस रोग आरोग रिकवरी फ्रॉम इलनेस एंड क्षुधा हंगर आदय है एंड सच अदर थिंग्स स्वेन वेद्या so they they are known to a person only doctor will ask how do you feel oh you are feeling pain okay that doctor can never feel the pain doctor may be the best doctor in the world no doctor can feel the pain of the patient can somebody feel the pain of the patient no and they will ask they will give you the medicine they will start treatment then they will again ask how do you feel now no doctor can tell you how you feel so your bondage also you can only only you can understand there is another meaning there that you should understand that you are bound if you don't understand nobody can make you understand because nobody can understand this is the inferential meaning here you take we have the very old proverb you can take a horse to water but you cannot make it drink so why do people get into bondage because they don't think they are in bondage they think bhala hi ta chhi i am happy khachi dachi ghumachi what is the problem i am eating drinking and sleeping uh, because you are a monk and you have nothing else to do you are all reading this and telling us that is your work you do our work is we will just happily enjoy life hmm. this is what people think so bondage you have to understand only when you understand bondage you will think of liberation the idea is 
bandha bondage moksha liberation tripti you have taken a something food item you are eating whether you like it or not who will say you will say there is no one food item which can be liked by all people in this world it is not possible you are listening to some music so people you go to some hindustani classical music some concert and that person will do this rag vistar ah like that going on this is a ki korse ha korse so people don't understand that needs a different kind of ear to understand then of course you go to say rock music and then tra 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 hard metal rock and you say oh ki er go baba jan jan korche it is all so much disturbing that needs a different ear maybe you will like some manna de or kishore kumar something uh, that you will like oh how nice it is but everyone has one own idea of satisfaction again everyone has one own idea of anxiety a small kid will be anxious if that person does not that kid does not get chocolate maybe or ice cream you who is 80 years old may be anxious if you can't trace your medicine if you have misplaced your medicine you will become anxious what happened what happened so anxiety is also similarly recovering from illness similarly whether you feel hungry or whether you feel thirsty whether you feel sleepy everything changes from person to person and that svenaiva vedya only you can understand yat gnanam paresham anumanikam others can only make a inference assume so the other person is seeing that you are sitting in the class and then you are your head is drooping down then there can be only two inferences one is which i try to make is that the class is extraordinarily boring and so i say okay at least that person could sleep some benefit from the class is that that person could get sleep now sleep is a very india is one of the most sleep deprived countries in the world so that person at least could get sleep and the other thing is that that person actually needs sleep so only this anumanikam we can only infer but what is true what is the true reality only that person knows so so the idea is tatasthita bodhayanti guravah shrutayo yatha pragnayaiva taret vidwan ishvara anugrihitaya so the idea is first of all you should understand your bondage if you don't understand there is no use you come for thousands of births you will come you will become human beings then you will do something you will become a tree then you will there be there for maybe hundreds of years then you will become a mosquito then you will die within some time very quickly then you will some mosquito if you become one tortoise coil is sufficient to kill you so that like that you will go on and on and on for crores millions and millions of births you will take birth why because you have not understood that you are born in bondage so recently there is this film uh, hindi movie bollywood diaries so a person wants to act in a movie and he could not do so he takes voluntary retirement and wants to go to the mumbai to do that and then there is a party he organizes so taking leave from everybody and then he gets some um, pain and he uh, falls down goes to the hospital and finds out he has got pancreatic cancer so now he cannot go so what he does so they have shown that some sadhu comes and geeta in geeta and other scriptures it is told whatever you will think you will become so his whole room is changed into only abhishek bachchan aishwarya bachchan amita bachchan and he constantly thinks like that and so that after death he will become he will get he will be born in their house and so he will automatically become an actor and then there is a om bollywood daya staraya namaha like that one rudraksha is given to him and he is always doing japa so that is what you do this life i could not do so next life will be better the other life will be much better like that run so the idea is 
Tatastita Bodhayanti. All these gurus as well as Shrutis, Vedas, they instruct you only from a distance. They are Tatastha, they are aloof. They can only give you some guidance, some pointers. You have to actually do it. They cannot do it for you. And Pragnaya Eva Taret Vidwan. Vidwan, a person who has realized that person, Pragnaya Eva Taret. That person crosses what? Ignorance only by knowledge and Ishwara Anugrihitaya and by the grace of Ishwara. God. So you may listen all your life that you have to speak the truth. But unless you speak the truth, what is the you are not going to get anything. Similarly, you may hear all your life that you have to struggle to get anything in this world even. But unless you are going to struggle, you will not get anything. That is what is being told. Though you have been told so many things, but unless you yourself do it, you are not going to get anything. Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Tat Sat